you know, pulled off. My name's Powder. I'm not allowed on the internet. You guys know that. But we've got, it's Tin Tuesday, so we've got a tin to open up. And I'm trying to make Tin Tuesdays a quick Tuesday video. Yo! My name is Powder. I'm not allowed on the internet. And welcome to Tin Tuesday! Today is a very special day, as today is the one year anniversary of Tin Tuesday. What you saw at the start was the very first Tin Tuesday, and a lot has happened in that one year. I had a giant beard, I ended up having to shave that giant beard for a Charizard. And then I pulled Charizard, and then I pulled Charizard again, and I pulled Charizard again. But the most important thing is that you guys have stuck with me for an entire year. You guys have supported me for an entire year of Tin Tuesday. So I wanted to do something very special. Today we will be opening this $500 Mewtwo Level X Tin from 2008. It contains three Diamond and Pearl Era Packs and one EX Era Pack. A huge thank you to DSTCG for helping me pinpoint and find this tin. Let me know in the comments below, do you think today will I lose $500? And I'm going to pick one lucky person from the comments section to win a very special giveaway today. So without any further ado, Check this out. This has now been unsealed. It is open technically. So I wouldn't be able to ever call it sealed ever again. We have just opened something vintage. I'm kind of shaking. I hope you guys can see that. Uh, here's the thing. This tin top, no, it's not getting thrown, okay? Like I usually do, it's not getting thrown. So of, so of course, I went ahead and made some arrangements. Look at this Togepi. Mwah. Throw it. So, oh my lord. I'm actually like, I'm so freaked out right now, guys. I don't even know what to say. All right, let's check this out. So it's not often you see these type of tins getting opened. Of course, I know Leon Hart did uh, open a couple of tins from this era recently, but um, yeah. Uh, oh my lord, this thing is OC, for sure. I'm being very careful here. It doesn't look beat up or anything. It looks pretty good in terms of, uh, like, it's actual, like, but it's definitely over. Look at that centering. Oh no, there's a little bit of brokenness at the side here, but, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do our best with it. We'll do our best with it, okay? So let me go ahead and sleeve that up, baby. Sleeve that Mewtwo level X up. This is from 2008, guys. This is not something that you could just willy-nilly get anymore. Okay, let's check this out. Look at the packs that come inside of this. Ready? Ready? Let's look at this. This comes with... Diamond and Pearl, Legends Awakened. EX Power Keepers. Diamond and Pearl Secret Wonders and Diamond and Pearl Base Set. The this is this is absolutely amazing. This is the these are the oldest packs that I've opened on the channel. This is insane. And of course, I have a bunch of other special sets today. We got some Champ Path, we got some Shining Fates, we got some Shining Legends, Hidden Fates, all this stuff. And uh, we're gonna take this one step at a time, okay? So we're gonna do Secret Wonders and then we're gonna start opening some other packs like Champion's Path. Sound good? I hope that sounds good. I apologize if this is a weird and wacky, not as wacky video as usual. Please do leave a like uh, for Diamond and Pearl Secret Wonders. Please leave a like for that. Comment below. It's just that I am not, uh, like, you know, tr like, I'm just, <laughs> I'm flabbergasted right now. Uh, will I be losing uh, $500? Did I mess that up? I already did. Lovely. I'm trying to open these up as 
nice as possible, and I and I and I think I screwed the pooch already. Okay, definitely screwed the pooch on that, but uh, we'll make it work. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's one, two, three. One, two, three. We're gonna put this to the front, and we are now about to. We're about to open up some vintage packs. This is from 2007. Diamond and Pearl Secret Wonders. Ready. Pidgeotto. Unknown. Energy. Squirtle in a forest. Love it. Lickitung. Oh my god, look at it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I would, uh... I'm just gonna go on. Shroomish looking sad. Why is Shroomish sad? Fan P having some fun. Mary. Oh! Reverse Hollow Suicune! A reverse rare Suicune level 44. And a mining! A mining! Okay, I'm okay with this. I was not expecting a reverse hollow Suicune. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna grab a sleeve. We're gonna grab a sleeve and we're gonna sleeve this up. <laughs> all right, all right, that's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Once again, guys, thank you so much for doing this. You guys are absolutely amazing. I was not expecting, uh, I was not expecting this much support and usually I've always been the type of guy to do this kind of content and then just uh, stop doing it within a month or two months but I kept it going for an entire year that's absolutely crazy sizzle wouldn't it be crazy if we pulled Charizard that would be absolutely nuts if we pulled Charizard I don't expect to pull Charizard from Champion's Path I never expect to pull the Charizard from Champion's Path I will probably be bald before I pull Charizard from Champion's Path. Who knows? Maybe, maybe the reason I go bald is because of Champion's Path. Obviously, Champion's Path is a newer current thing, but if the prices are slowly rising, I think people were really expecting a reprint of Champion's Path to happen right around this time of year. And with the fact that we haven't really heard about it is what's gotten people worked up. Champion's Path, Scraggy, and an Altaria again. Lovely, very nice. Two Altarias in a row. So that tin cost me 500 bucks, right? But I need to know who else should open a tin like that other than the best booster machine? Nobody, because I am the best booster machine, right? This is what I do. I do this better than anybody else. And a scent to scorch, of course. So let me know in the comment section below if the best booster machine will pull something crazy or will the best booster machine lose $500 okay obviously so far we have pulled the Suicune reverse hollow we got three more packs left 500 bucks is on the line one of you guys needs to tell me how it goes because one of the people in the comment section below will be winning you need to comment in this video. I'm going to choose one random person from the comments, no matter what you comment, to win a Charizard VMAX from Darkness Ablaze. Yup, this is the exact same Charizard that I pulled the earlier this year. I'm just going to go ahead and give it. Why? Because it's the one year anniversary of Teen Tuesday. There's no reason for me not to do something crazy. Wasting a lot of money here. Look at that. Legends Awakened. Uh, I don't know. Legends Awakened, I'm pretty sure it's uh, a couple of the level X, um, level X, like, uh, 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 Azelf, Yuxi, all of them, right? So that would be cool. Pulling a level X card would be massive, would be historic. But obviously, I'll take any sort of, uh, I'll take any sort of hollow. I will take a hollow. Please just don't give me non hollows because that would really be sad. One, two, three. All right. These cards smell like 2008. 2008 was a great year. Here's a picture of me from 2008. I hope you enjoyed that. All right. Let's do this. 
move this champion's path stuff. Bucks training. Matei. Ninjask. Hitmonchan. I love how this artwork is literally just the in-game artwork on like some random, like if that's what this, <laughs> they weren't like doing like the artwork, the art style wasn't really anything crazy here. I mean, there are good ones. Like, look at Drifloon. Drifloon is doing amazing artwork style. But uh, Skitty is doing great. That's a beautiful Skitty. Corefish. Reverse Hollow Kyogre. Oh my God. We just got a reverse Kyogre. <laughs> what could be behind it? Oh! oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Rhyperior level X. Oh my lord! We pulled a level... Oh my lord! Hold on, where are my sleeves? Hold on, stop, stop, stop. Everybody chill out, dude! Okay, calm down. Just pulled a Rhyperior level X. From... Oh my... I don't even know what to say right now. It looks really good. It's centered really well on the front. It looks like it's centered pretty well, but there is whitening, unfortunately. Unfortunately, there's some whitening. And, of course, Kyogre. Kyogre. We just pulled a level X card today, guys. In 2000 and... In 2021... 2021, we pulled a level X card, guys. This is not normal behavior this is what happens when you get so far deep into pokemon cards that you don't know what to do with your life anymore i need help guys this is me asking for help please who wants to open some shining fates i do all righty let's do this shining fates Shining Fates is uh, one of the is the newest special set to come out. Check this out. There you go. There's your uh, what do you call it? So I pulled a Charizard from Shining Fates uh, twice at this point, uh, but there are a couple cards I haven't pulled. I'm trying to put a, a, put together a Shining Fates Master Collection or at least the Master Collection of the Shiny Vault from Shining Fates. It's one of the better uh, uh, it's one of the better sets, but honestly, I feel like compared to Hidden Fates, it's definitely weaker. So Volcanion and Professor's Research. Unfortunately, nothing in that pack worthwhile. Um, I would, I do need a couple full arts from this set, like full art trainers, as well as uh, there's a bunch of shinies. I haven't pulled the Suicune. We pulled a Reverse Hollow Suicune, guys. So can I pull the shiny Suicune today? That would be absolutely insane. If we pull shiny Suicune, I'd actually cry because I haven't pulled it and I don't want to pay for that card because it's pretty expensive for a shine, baby shiny. But you know what? I'm probably going to end up having to pay for it. I'm probably just going to end up rounding it out. Shining Fates is definitely on the end of its life. Kyogre! Kyogre shows up again as an amazing rare today! Oh, wow! Oh, woo woo! Dude, I was so... What do you call it about the... I, I didn't even... A woo woo! I didn't even a woo woo for the Rhyperior X. I just realized. Comment a woo woo. Remember, all you have to do is comment anything. You don't have to comment anything super crazy. If you want to talk about this video, if you want to talk about me, you want to talk about your life, go ahead. Don't talk about your life. Don't. Don't do it. Okay? But the idea is comment below. One person who comments below will be getting, will be getting a Charizard. I'll choose one winner one week from now. And that person is going to be announced in next week's Tin Tuesday video. And I'll send the Charizard out to you. And you'll have a lot of fun. Indeedy. In Indeedy, you will have a lot of fun. Sound good? Okay, great. All right. All right, time to move on to Diamond and Pearl. Diamond and Pearl. Absolutely stunning pack art here with Lucario on it. With uh, Lucario was kind of... A diamond and pearl mascot to an extent i would say right to, to to somewhat of an extent lucario was a diamond and pearl mascot it got its own like little movie so definitely definitely a i would call it a mascot if you if you asked me if you asked me 
what I'm at. If you ask most people what Diamond and Pearl. Oh, listen, Diamond and Pearl. But uh, I'm glad that we're getting remakes soon. Uh, these packs are looking spicy. Looking spicy, of course. These packs have a dang, dang, look at that whitening right out of the packs. But what can you expect? It's been, it's been how long inside of a, uh, inside of a, of a tin. All right, Monferno, very nice. Now, one thing I'm very excited for is I think a couple cards in this set have that reverse foil uh, stamp on them. So that'd be really cool to get a reverse foil. Luxio, Magnemite, Electabuzz. Ghastly. Uh, if we pull level X Infernape, I will cry. Starly. Electabuzz Reverse Hollow and the final card. A why not? It's a baby. A baby that I do not want in my life. Okay, very nice. Cool. Opening Diamond and Pearl packs was a lot of fun. EX Power Keepers is going to be the last thing we open, but let me go ahead and open some Shining Legends and some Hidden Fates, guys. Uh, this is the point of the video where I just talk to you guys about how much I love you guys because you guys are just good people, all right? Uh, shout out to a lot of people here. Um, this is the point of the video where I tell you guys if you haven't subscribed already, why haven't you? And I know you're going to stay or stick around to this part of the video because you really want to see that EX Power Keepers pack be open to see if I potentially pull a Charizard. To see if I actually make my $500 back. Which, you know, it's not looking too great. <laughs> it's not looking too great, but that's fine. What if we pulled a Charizard from Hidden Fates? That'd be crazy. If we pulled a Charizard from Hidden Fates, it would be insanity. All right, Hidden Fates. Hayden Fates is uh, arguably the best modern set um, in the history of modern sets. Well, that's just the truth. Brock's Pewter City Gym, Staryu, Ekans, Caterpie, Paris, Wee Wee, Charmander. Ooh, shiny Magnemite, oh, woo woo! And a Mewtwo to go with our Mewtwo level X. Wow, solid, solid pack right there. Double hitter, double hitter from that pack. Keeping it good. I would love, me if we could, imagine we pull Mewtwo, Rainbow Rare Mewtwo, or we pull, uh, what's it called, Mewtwo? Mewtube. Imagine we pulled Mewtube, that would be absolutely nutty. Like, that would actually make me, I would freak out. Then I am honestly the Mewtwo king. I do have a problem with pulling the Hidden Fates Mewtwo. Not a problem in a good way, as in I pull it way too much. That's not a bad thing. Totodile showing its butt. Weasel. Pikachu. Bulbasaur. Litten. And an Eveltal. All right. Hidden Fates. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Because I want to end with EX Power Keepers, guys. EX Power Keepers will be how we end this video. Because... It's a code card for you, a code card for me, and an EX Power Keepers to hype up the ending of this uh, video. Because it's not just any sort of video. This is Tim Tuesday 1 here. But I definitely do want to do more uh, vintage stuff or uh, newer vintage, I guess you could say. Diamond and Pearl era, EX era stuff is cool. EX era stuff is really expensive, so it's, uh, it's very hard to get your hands on. So the fact that, like, like I said, EX Power Keepers is like... You don't really see, I mean, yeah, obviously in the grand scheme of Pokemon, it's not super often. It's not, it's not like it's rare for you to, for you to see people open this type of stuff. I mean, um, there's a lot of folks in the world of Pokemon TCG that just open this stuff because, um, they do. That's it. They just open it every single, uh, on a weekly basis because they can, they have the ability to do because... Plus all and mine are touching butts, right? So Buizel, double colorless energy, and a Verizian. So nothing from Shining Legends. I totally am done with opening Shining Legends. Like, it's too expensive. It's probably just, it's so much cheaper to just buy the cards. A hundred percent. Like, you could buy a PSA 10 card cheaper than you could probably buy all, uh, what's it called? Than a, cheaper than you could probably buy, like, five packs of this set, to be quite honest. So Misty's Determination, Pokemon Center Lady, where is Nurse Joy? Slowpoke, 
Side Eye Eye, Clefairy, Magikarp, Ekans, Mew, coming out to party, and Erica's Hospitality. All right. All right. The final pack today. Only nine cards in this pack. Why? This era had a lot of financial troubles and uh, popularity was kind of at a low when it came to the Pokemon trading card game, in all honesty. And uh, Pokemon just was not outputting as many cards that, the same way. With that being said, you end up with nine cards in a pack, but you also end up with one of the rarest type of uh, sets. The EX sets are some of the rarest sets in the history of Pokemon. Uh, yes, they're not the most expensive, but remember, uh, rarity and scarcity are two different things, right? A good friend told me that. Shout out. And, uh... Alright, this was the cleanest pack opening I've done so far. Out of all of them, this, this was the cleanest pack I've opened. Alright, let's do this. Let's see what's in here. One two three okay i hope i i'm hoping it's one two three i actually don't know all right all right i messed that up zangu <laughs> i messed that up i technically got nothing out of this it's a re non-reverse zangus that's a rare i messed it up i'm so sorry i messed it up but there's still a reverse hollow in here with the ex power keeper stamp on it what could it be? I have no clue. Vulpix. Shop it. What? That's it? The reverse wasn't energy? <laughs> oh boy, this is going to sound great. Uh, hey, well, that's the title for you. How I lost $500 opening a vintage Pokemon tin right thank you so much everybody for showing up you guys are absolutely amazing people uh you guys leave comments you guys leave likes you guys support in the discord server remember guys uh i'm not gonna stop doing this anytime soon share this with your friends share this with anybody let's grow our community together remember to leave that like comment below to win that charizard potentially and that's about it. Thank you so much for joining me for Tin Tuesday, one year anniversary. All right. Bye.